Hey everybody. I've got a special poem today. Um, I wrote it back in 2016 and I definitely remember that because uh, it's called Me Too. Me Too. I see the flood of a thousand survivors echoing the same words in the hopes that we will be heard. Me Too. I was eight years old the first time someone tried to force a blowjob on me. We inhabit that space and relive our torment and we comfort our supporters because it is so traumatizing for them to realize. And I didn't have enough emotional labor to do today anyway. Me too. I heard the first joke about my brown neck birthmark when I was five. Starting early, look at that hickey. My stomach curled and felt wrong. They told me what the word meant and I felt something die inside me. I've lived 33 years hating a spot on my body. Me too. He likes my post, forgetting the time he put his hands on my crotch and refused to hear no. Me too. We are all complicit members of the same group, all aware of our broken stairs. They believe me because the broken stairs are still a part of our world. We do nothing about it. Me too. A man outside the supermarket yanks my headphones off to tell me that my bike is the wrong kind for city use. I back away and try to leave. He is angry that I do not thank him for his wisdom. Me too. I need him to stop trying to rub my shoulders at social events. I tell someone and they say he is socially awkward. Strange how he's smart enough to wait until everyone looks away before his spider creeping fingers stray around my shoulder blades, journey slyly through the valley of my armpit to try to get some quality side boob action. Me too. I need you to understand that I never tell you how bad it is. If I did that all the time, I would be too busy to breathe. Me too. Lose some weight, cow, then you can ride my dick. Parking lot pickup lines. Me too. Baby, if we're not having sex, how is this any different from a friendship? A social contract. Me too. I'm so sick of being in your friend zone. I've been there for you, and I thought I was actually getting somewhere. The currency of intercourse. Me too. Sweetie, he only says those things because he knows it bugs you. A justification that eats its own tail. Me too. He's been friends with your father for years. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. Family friend with privileges. Me too. You were wearing a low cut top. Me too. He just acts weird sometimes. Me too. I'm tired of hearing about it. Yeah. Yeah, pal. Me too. Thank you everybody and thank you to my patrons. I really support, um, I really appreciate your support. Can I get through a take without flubbing? But at least this time I didn't flub the poem, so I'm gonna stick with it. Um, it's been a long day, a long few days, and I'm so thankful for all the support and all the help. Um, I'm doing a subscriber drive next week, so I'm gonna have some exciting stuff to go up. Um, please let me know. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see for, for patron benefits, I'm still sort of working out how to do it. Anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.